Raccoons are fascinating, curious, cute little creatures famous for their unique ability to scavenge, climb, and thrive in our urban environments. These sneaky little bandits are much more intelligent and unique than your typical wildlife that you'd find infesting a home or living out in the wild. To pay our respects to the cute raccoons, we'll be sharing with you some highly unique raccoon stories and facts that you probably haven't heard of before. Our highlight story we'll be covering includes the time a raccoon actually lived inside of the White House, escaped the Secret Service, and charmed the President of the United States of America. But first, how did raccoons even get their names? Well, raccoons have some of the most dexterous hands in nature. They are capable of picking locks, opening doors, cupboards, trash cans, climbing, and all kinds of other cool tricks. In fact, our urban cities are like training grounds for these creatures. They are able to learn rather quickly and combined with their hands, able to perform some impressive feats. Native Americans were the first to name the raccoons after their unique paws, calling these creatures arukun, which later turned into the English word raccoon. The direct translation of arukun from pawatan means animal that scratches with its hands. The Aztecs down in South America were thinking in a similar line also. They named it Mapachitli, which means the one who takes everything in its hands. Raccoons are also famous for the black stripe around their eyes, making them look like bandits or bank robbers. Given their unique ability to infest and steal food without detection, or at least a hasty escape, equating them to such bandits isn't such a bad comparison. However, nature didn't give the raccoons these black stripes just to look like robbers. The black stripes actually help to absorb incoming light, reducing glare so that the raccoons can see more clearly, especially in the dark. This is an effect similar to that of the black sticker stripes under the eyes of athletes in football games. Less peripheral light as a result of this black stripe allows raccoons to see better in the dark because they can then perceive contrast in objects that they are focusing on. While these black stripes were intended to make them look like thieves, it does help raccoons see better, especially in the dark, helping them to steal and invade urban human areas while we are asleep, so calling raccoons little bandits is still a true statement. Also, did you know that there are six raccoon species native to North and South America? The most common and well-known one is Priacun Lothar, which is found in the United States. There are all kinds of other species which can be found farther down south or inhabiting tropical islands that have evolved due to the separation of these islands. However, the most interesting raccoon story here is that time in November 1926 when a live raccoon was sent to the White House from Mississippi to actually be slaughtered for a Thanksgiving dinner for President Calvin Coolidge. Upon seeing the raccoon, President Coolidge decided instead to pardon the raccoon's life and make it his pet. President Coolidge was a well-known animal lover, having received animals from all across the United States and even the world for his appreciation. The raccoon would soon accompany the president on walks around the White House in the evening. However, all was not okay inside of the White House. This raccoon was famous for tearing things up escaping people constantly, and one morning the president emerged with bandages on his wrist after he had been cuddling and chilling with the raccoon. It was after this that the raccoon was banished to a zoo. Though just one week later, newspapers reported that the president missed the raccoon and soon the raccoon was back in the White House. Now while President Coolidge adored the creature despite it having bit and kind of messed up his wrist, the raccoon constantly would escape even the Secret Service, and keeping the raccoon was a rather difficult and wasteful expenditure of time and money. Raccoons are notoriously cre curious creatures and do not normally develop attachments similar to that of cats and dogs with humans. Eventually, the raccoon got to be truly too much for them to handle, and it was donated to the National Zoo, where it would spend the rest of its life. Even the Secret Service struggled with keeping a single raccoon, as well as a few other animals, under control inside of the White House. Dealing with wildlife and pests is a delicate and sometimes dangerous activity that should only be performed by professionals. 
We've learned a lot about the dangers of wildlife and pest infestation since 1926, one of the biggest concerns being that rabies could have been transmitted from this raccoon. While President Coolidge ended up okay, had the raccoon been a transmitter of rabies, he would have ended his presidential term quite early and abruptly. Besides disease and other problems that can arise from pest infestation, there are other issues, such as damage to your home, reduction of air quality, as well as just in general wasted time. So if you think that you have a wildlife or pest related problem, we at Wildlife X Team International specialize in safe and responsible removal of wildlife and pests. We identify the problem, remove the animal safely, return them to the wild when possible, undo the damage caused, and prevent the problem from ever happening again. So give us a call at 855-WILDLIFE or visit our website at wildlifexteam.com to get your free inspection report. Thank you so much, and we will see you next week. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.